everybody! So this might seem like the same environment as my last video, but that's okay because now you know that I film multiple videos a day. I get things done. Okay, so this video I wanted to show you how to wear something that is super popular for this fall combat season. boots. I love these combat boots. I got them at Marshalls for about $40. They are the Guess combat boots. They have zippers on the outside and laces. The ones on the outside don't really aren't functional. They are just for they are decorative. They aren't functional. Um, but they there are zippers on the inside so that you can slip your feet on and off. So you can slip them on and off your feet without lacing them all the time. And so I want to show you three outfits to wear the combat boots with. I hope you enjoy this. Bye! Okay, so in this outfit it's kind of a girly or a more girly option on how to wear combat boots. And I'm just wearing this kitty button down or button up collared sleeveless chiffon shirt that I got from Cotton On for five dollars and I am wearing a bodycon skirt that I think I got from Charlotte Russe or Forever 21 a while ago but any bodycon or any body hugging skirt really works for this look if you want to make it a little more girly especially because I have a little more volume up top I want to narrow my body down and not seem like I'm over volumizing or being super bulky with my outfit. Um, so it's a lot of print going on, but I really like it because, you know, they're both neutrals and it really doesn't matter. Okay, so I have my combat boots here. Um, these I got from Marshalls again, yeah. And yeah, so that's the first outfit. Um, definitely a more girly version of the outfit. If you would like to lighten it up with more pastel colors, go for it. wear something bright with it. Just make sure that it doesn't clash. If you wear something really bright on top and you do want to pull off a really bright outfit, I would go with complementary colors on the color wheel. So if you're going with something bright red, go with something bright green on the bottom. If you're going with something bright blue, go with bright orange pants to really bring out both colors. So that is one trick that you can remember when you're wearing different colors, but that's beside the point. Let's head on to outfit number two. So this next look is a little more casual and something that you can just throw on with combat boots. Combat boots are almost an afterthought in this outfit because it's so casual and really comfortable and something that you can wear pretty much every day. And so I just went with my American, no, my <laughs> Urban Outfitters shirt that I just got and I featured in my haul. Um, it is chiffon. It has a feather pattern to it. It is basically a large rectangle with a hole cut out in the middle for your head. And it does have some button detailing, but overall it's, it's really soft. That's the pattern. Overall it's just really comfy, really casual, something that you can wear out with friends, something that you can wear out to lunch or something that you can go to school with. I don't know about work environments. You might have a different work environment than I do, but I could wear this to work. Um, and I'm just wearing a belt to hold up my pants. The belt really didn't go with anything, but I just needed something to hold up my pants. Um, and these are American Eagle jeggings that I got um, a while ago, and they're just normal jeggings. I really like them because they fit me really well. And then my combat boots. Yay! Combat boots. So that was a more casual look, something for every day that you could wear. So instead of something girly, which is really awesome for combat boots because combat boots are really masculine and to counteract them with something really girly, it makes it a really flattering and fun look. But this is just everyday combat boots afterthought. Combat boots equals shoes afterthought. Um, and this is just casual. So yeah, on to outfit number three. Okay, so this next and final outfit is the edgier of the three outfits. And I really enjoy this because it really brings out one of the biggest statement pieces of the season and the biggest statement piece of this outfit, galaxy leggings. So these galaxy leggings I got on eBay for about 22 American dollars, 14 um, 
UK dollars. That's I think. with shipping as well. Um, okay, so I am wearing a Heather Gray Burnout tank top from Urban Outfitters. Um, I got that for $10 and it was in my haul. It has this really cool back detail where it's a caged back, but that's not something that I really want to show off right now because that's also a little too statement and it kind of battles the statement piece battle with my galaxy leggings. And I definitely want to bring out my galaxy leggings. And this cardigan is just kind of like a grandpa slash um, scholarly cardigan. It has the corduroy And then I'm wearing patches. my DIY Levi's denim cutoffs that I made myself. Um, I found them at a thrift store. And then my galaxy leggings that I got on eBay. And then my combat boots that I got from Marshalls that is the point of this video. So that is definitely a really edgy outfit that I like to wear. Um, I haven't really worn them out yet because I just got them. And I wanted to show you guys how I would style them. But this is just one way to style these galaxy leggings. There's a lot more ways to style them. So yeah, this is by far probably my favorite way to wear combat boots. Um, stick leggings. Stick leggings in your combat boots. That's an instantly awesome way to wear them, especially if those leggings are patterned and you want to make them the statement piece and the center of so the So that's it to this video. Outfit. Click like if you like this video or anything that you saw in it or if it inspired you in any way. Comment down below which outfit was your favorite and if you want to see more of my face and more of these videos, click the subscribe button. It's free! Yay! Okay, so thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will see you next time. Bye!